What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get these camera movement effects in Premiere Pro. I recently did a tutorial on this in After Effects you can check out, but I think a lot of people would rather just do it right in Premiere. So today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to get these effects. Before I get started, make sure to drop a like right down below so other people can find this video and help my channel grow out. I'm gonna hop into Premiere and show you guys how easy this is. All right, so I have a performance shot from a music video right here. And there's a few ways you can do motion. Uh, there's this right here. This is pretty simple. I think everyone really knows this trick right here. You just play it through. You can type in 175. You can even keyframe the animation. And so basically when you keyframe, it's basically just telling it to go to point A to point B. So we're here, we're gonna reset all these. This is cool, but it doesn't have that jarring up. This is cool, but it doesn't have that look that we're going for. It looks more digital. So what we can do is, I'm gonna actually just turn off all these and I'm gonna reset them. Make sure to turn that one off. Cool, and I'm actually gonna drag on transform. So we can drag on transform right here. I do think the camera movement might be a little bit easier in After Effects, but it's also nice that you don't have to go into After Effects and you can do this right in Premiere. So. We wanna leave this checked and what we wanna do is we wanna turn up the composition shutter speed and we wanna turn it all the way up to 360. So what this is gonna do is when we zoom in, let's make sure we have rotation on, we're gonna get some camera blur. So let's watch that now. And you can see we get a little bit of motion blur. So let's say I even punch in again to 175 and let's say I kind of move up a little bit. So right here, when he starts rapping, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna punch in. So I'm gonna create some keyframes right here. That's gonna create a keyframe where you currently are. And then I'm gonna zoom into his hand and I'm actually gonna rotate a little bit. See, the only thing that sucks about doing this not in After Effects is we can't drag around. We actually have to move the position and scale did, uh, with these numbers right here, which isn't that fun. That's the trade-off of doing this in Premiere versus After Effects. We got the zoom in and we can actually make it smoother. So what we can do is we can select these and we can actually go into Temporal and we can select any of these. Um, you could play around with these, but basically what this does is it kind of smooths it out for you. You might get some black edges, so you also might have to play around with that. So there it is right there. And then as we're chilling there, we can maybe even zoom out a little bit to 180. We can rotate back just a little bit so we don't see the black. And we'll play that through, we're in. If you move really fast back and forth, like just within a few frames and it's a pretty drastic movement, you get some pretty crazy motion blur. And we're gonna reset, we're gonna go back to zero, back to 100, and we're gonna reset that one. So we'll play that through now. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. I dropped tons of other tutorials like this. Comment down below, let me know some ways you guys would use this effect, whether it's zoom transitions. I hope you guys found this useful. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that I have linked at the end. I'll catch you guys next time, thanks.